What is up my NeoVim friends? Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about auto commands in NeoVim and how you can automate some of your workflows and get some nice custom configuration that'll automatically happen whenever it's triggered on a buffer event or some other event in NeoVim. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like the content and you wanna see more NeoVim stuff. And let's jump into auto commands. Before we jump into creating an auto command, I wanna give you a little bit of a warning because auto commands are pretty powerful. And if you don't do things correctly, you can obliterate your files and the text within them. So make sure you're carefully testing and using files and text that you don't care about if you're doing file manipulations or other things within your auto commands. To create an auto command, it's pretty straightforward. You need four different things. Well, one of them is optional. You start with auto command and then you can give it a group which is basically an optional name to group all your auto commands together, which I would recommend so that you can quickly disable, remove, or refresh them. Then we have an event, which is a list of triggers that can trigger your auto command to run. The pattern is to specify what files that you want your command to run against. So an example of this might be a .c file or maybe a .lua file. Then the command is the last piece that you wanna remember, and that's the actual command that's gonna get run. Here's an example of what I mean. If we typed, auto command and then cursor hold and then buffer and this will do a buffer local auto command which means it only runs within this buffer you can also give it a number so if i knew this buffer number it could be this but i'll keep it this way for right now and then our command we're just going to do a echo hold and if i run this we'll see that whenever my cursor moves and then it stops, we see the hold echo being printed in the bottom left. Awesome, this is our first NeoVim auto command. Typically, you're not gonna be creating auto commands on the fly, but now you know how to do that. If we wanted to do that inside of NeoVim and set up some auto commands beforehand, first, we wanna create an auto group, which is this invim create au group. For us, I just called it cursor hold, and the clear true means that whenever we reload this, it's gonna clear it out and it's not gonna add duplicates. So if we didn't have clear set to true, then it would add auto commands over and over and over instead of only one time, which sometimes you want, but typically you don't. Clear true is the default, so if you need to override it, you can do that here. Now that we have our auto group created, we can use that inside of our command. And so these are two different commands. This first one is triggered on cursor hold or buff win enter, and I'll show you a list of events here in just a minute, but you can also look at each event and that will show you the full list. There's a lot of them. As you can see here, we're triggering on two different events. And in this block, we have our command, which is again, echo hold. And then our group, which is cursor hold, which matches our auto group here at the top. If you're using command, then you're gonna be running Vim commands. But if you use callback, then you can pass it a function and write Lua code inside of here. This is where you'll usually see how auto commands are configured unless you're doing Vim specific stuff. Like I promised, here's a short list of some of the events that you can use. So whenever you add a buffer, whenever you enter into a buffer or whenever it's deleted, if you wanna do some kind of linting, then usually you'll do it right before the buffer is read. And also if it's a new file, that would be a good time to lint your code and make sure it looks correct. The other argument that we talked about is pattern. And so if we set this to star, then we should see that this will match everything. If we wanted it to only match Lua files, then we could do a dot Lua. If we wanted it to match multiple files, then we need to wrap it in curlies here and make it into a table. And we can do a star dot C maybe, and that would trigger it both on Lua files and on C files. You get those arguments as a table in here. The table that you get inside of your callback function contains ID, event, group, match, buff, file, and data. So you get a lot of information that you can conditionally flip or run those auto commands whenever you need to. So use that whenever you need to run different sets of logic based on a match or a buffer. One of the interesting things about auto commands is you can actually nest them. So you can call auto commands from your auto commands. To do that, you need to do this nested bit right here at the end. And this only goes 10 levels deep, so you can't infinitely loop. It will cut you off. But if you need to do something like reload the buffer or write to it, then you need to use this plus plus nested to execute that. If you wanna see what auto commands you have configured, then you can do auto command. That will show you all your auto commands in this pager and you can go D or GG to the top or capital G to go down to the bottom and view this list and see exactly what's configured. If you wanted to search for a specific auto command group or for an event, then you can use auto command and let's say like cursor hold for the ones that we used. You can see that that list is narrowed down to only the events that we're triggering on here. Or if you did auto command, and 
and you did custom buffer, which is our auto command group, you get something similar where you're only filtering to the group or to the event. If you have telescope installed, which obviously you should, then you can use telescope and auto commands here and get a nice fuzzy search window of all your auto commands. If we wanted to do cursor hold, then you can see that we have those functions outlined here. If you want to remove an auto command, then you can do auto command and bang. And then our custom buffer group could be the thing that we want to disable. If we do that, we would no longer have these executed. If you wanted to clear them inside of NeoVim via configuration, then you would do something like this, where you're doing invim clear auto commands and whatever your group is. If you only wanted to disable your auto commands for some debugging or checking whether things are working, you can do a set EI, which is event ignore, and set that to all, and that will ignore all your auto commands. Note that you will need to reset this if you want your auto commands to come back. You can set them back using set EI and an empty string, and this will set all your auto commands back to what they were. You can also specify events that you want to ignore. So you can say EI and then cursor hold, and that will ignore only the cursor hold events. I personally have a couple of nice auto commands configured. The first one is to go into insert mode whenever I start the terminal. So if I go into term, then I'm automatically in insert mode. I don't need to go into it after I'm already in terminal. The second auto command that I really enjoy is this highlight on yank, which I believe is configured in lazy vim for you. But whenever I do a YAP, then you can see that it highlights if I do a YY, then you can see that line highlights, which I really like as a nice feedback for what exactly I'm highlighting and copying. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. Check out my other NeoVim videos if you want to see other content and are interested in getting better at NeoVim or the command line. Let me know in the comments if you found this useful and if you have auto commands that you want to share. I'm always looking for better ways to improve and looking for really cool hacks. So share that in the comments. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.